Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I pray you're rejoicing and you're glad in it. I'm so grateful to God that he leads us uh, to pray together for one another and with each other. And each day I'm doing our daily devotional. What a privilege I have of being able to lift my voice and engage my faith to pray for you. And I thank God for you doing the same for me. If you just joined us, I want to thank um, the person. Uh, thank God for the person that invited you to this prayer series. Uh, we're just better when we pray together. The Bible says one can put a thousand to flight, two can put 10,000 to flight. We're just better when we come together and we're praying together this whole month about relating to God, the Holy Spirit through his name. So we're praying about the names of the Holy Spirit. When someone introduces themselves to you, when they get to know you, they tell you their name and you in turn tell them your name so you can have a relationship so you can call on each other and communicate with each other and connect with each other. And God has revealed to us his names in the scripture and he's revealed to us the names of the Holy Spirit. In the last few days, we've been praying about the Holy Spirit as the breath of God, as the breath of life, as our life giver and life sustaining breath. And so today we're going to continue in that vein. Uh, in day number 11, we're going to be praying from the Gospel of John, John chapter 20 and verse 21 through 23. The Gospel of John chapter 20, verse 21 through 23 from the New King James Version of the Word of God says, So Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Amen. Jesus said to them, peace to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we go to God today in prayer, um, we want to, first of all, thank him that he speaks to us in secret. He spoke to these disciples in secret when they were behind closed doors. And God will speak to you and to me in our secret places. When no one else is around, he'll speak to you and me in a still, small voice. Secondly, we want to thank God that he, does not, he just doesn't speak to us in secret, but he sends us out to be successful. He said to the disciples, as the Father sent me, I also send you. Jesus was sent here to die on the cross for our sins and to be raised from the dead for the forgiveness of our sin and to give us eternal life. And he was successful in his assignment because the Father sent him. And just as the Father sent Jesus, Jesus sends you and me to be successful in our assignments for him. So we want to pray and thank God that he sends us out to be successful in his name. Then thirdly and finally, we want to thank God that he supplies us with his spirit which causes us to be successful in everything that we do for him. So as we pray today, we're going to lift those three things up. Let's go to the Lord together in prayer. Lord, our Lord, you are great and you are greatly to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, Lord, we give your name all glory and honor. Lord, we pause in this moment to just adore you and just recognize who you are and to worship you for who you are. Lord, you are our God and you are in heaven, Father, and we glorify your name. Thank you for revealing Jesus to us and sending him into our life, Lord. Thank you for his death, burial, and his resurrection. Thank you, Jesus, for being raised from the dead by the Holy Spirit of God and being alive forevermore. Thank you for interceding for us at the right hand of the Father, forever making intercessions for us. We wait your soon coming return. Lord, we also thank you that you did not leave us comfortless. You sent us another comforter like you, God. You sent us the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your ministry of intercession. We thank you for your ministry of teaching. We thank you for your ministry of comfort and care and help. And we thank you, Lord, that you are our teacher and our guide. And so, Lord God, today we, we just come to you and just thank you that even as Jesus spoke to the disciples in secret, Holy Spirit, you speak to us in our secret places, in our secret moments. Thank you, Lord, that as we're in our prayer closet, you speak to us. Thank you as we go throughout our day, seemingly by ourselves, but not alone, you speak to us. 
thank you as we ride in our cars and go about our, our ways, God, you speak to us. Thank you that even, Lord, when other people are around, you have a way of speaking to us privately and speaking to us secretively, secretively about what you have planned for us and what you want to do through us and with us. So thank you, Lord, for the secrecy of our communication with you, the secrecy of our relationship with you. Lord God, that even when the enemy thinks he has us cornered or when he thinks he has us confined, Lord, we can still hear a word from you. I pray somebody today, Lord, would hear you in secret, that even as they're in a public place, God, I pray they would hear from you in secret, Holy Spirit. Speak to their heart. Open up their ears that they may hear what the Spirit is saying to the church, what they may hear, that they may hear what the Spirit is saying to them. And Lord God, I thank you that even as Jesus was sent to do your will in the earth, Lord, that he has sent us to be successful in every endeavor he's called upon us to do. Lord, I pray you would make us successful today as men. I pray you would make us successful today as women of God. I pray you would make us successful today, Lord, and in, in our families, Lord, and as we try to lead our children and lead our homes, Lord, in godly ways. Help us to be successful on our jobs and in our occupations and our careers and our vocations, Lord. Help us to be successful today in ministry. Lord, the task is tough and the, the assignment can be arduous, Lord, but you have sent us and you will be no shorter than your word. Lord, you have already given us the victory, but this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. So we thank you for victory in Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you um, supply us with your Holy Spirit, Lord, who walks with us and talks with us and leads us and guides us into all truth that we might not fail, Lord. Thank you that he encourages us and equips us in the things of you, Lord. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in our life. You're welcome in this place. And we receive your, your words. We receive your guidance. We receive your leading today in Jesus' name. Fill us again, Lord Jesus, with your Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Heavenly Dove. We need to hear from you in our secret places. We need to know where you're sending us today, what assignments you have for us today. Speak to our hearts, God. Speak to our minds. Speak to our spirits. Encourage us, God. Teach us your ways. Teach us your ways, oh God, that we might be successful. Teach us your ways, for your ways are not our ways, and your thoughts are not our thoughts. We need to hear from you, Lord. Give us your wisdom that we might be successful in every area of our life, that we might glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. I bless you in the name of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. Today was day number 11. We prayed from John chapter 20, verse 21 through 23. Listen, share the channel with somebody, subscribe to the channel, get the notifications. I'll be back to pray with you tomorrow. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.